Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video I wanted to answer a question that I recently got and that is a question that is often asked on job interviews and also students get it on their exams. And that is a question on how you can swap the value of two variables. I'm going to give you two ways to solve this problem but let me just explain what I mean by this. So I'm going to copy the text of this problem here like this and let me say that I have one variable which is going to be called a and that variable is going to hold value of 20 let's say and then I have another variable which is going to be called b and that variable holds value of 10 and now I need to switch the value so to swap the value of these two variables I want my a to hold whatever my b is holding and then I want my b to hold whatever my a is holding so how we are going to do that? For the first explanation, I will need something, so let me get it. So here I have two glasses, and inside this left glass I have my green juice, and then inside this glass I have just plain water. And the question that we have in our Visual Studio is equivalent to a question how we can swap the content of these two glasses. And to solve that problem, I'm going to use another glass, so a temporary glass, and that is this one here. And I'm sorry guys, I know this is not a glass, it's a shaker, but it will do for this explanation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this glass, this variable, and I'm going to put its content inside this third glass, this temporary glass. Okay, and then when I have saved the value of this glass inside this temporary glass, what I can do is I can put my green juice, so the content of this glass, inside here. Okay, this is a bit more complex in real life than in programming. So once you do that, you have saved the value of this glass here, so the content of this glass here inside this glass, and now what we are left to do is just to put whatever our temp variable, our temp glass was holding inside this glass here. And now we have successfully accomplished to solve this problem. So we have switched the content of these two glasses. And let's just translate this into our code. Now that I have explained the algorithm to solve this problem, we are just going to translate that algorithm into C++ code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable, a temporary variable, which I'm going to call temp. And inside that temp variable, I'm going to put whatever my A is holding. So I'm going to say that my temp holds now whatever is inside my A variable. And since we have our A variable free now to hold something else, I'm going to put my B value inside my a. So now my a is going to hold whatever my b is holding. And now that we have saved the value of our b inside our a variable, we can put inside our b whatever our temp variable is holding. So that is the value that previously was inside our a variable. And this here is really the algorithm to solve this problem using a third variable. And let's just quickly add a C out so that we can see what we have done. So our A is equal to A. And then our B is equal to our B. And let's add end line like this. And I'm going to add just a comma sign here. Okay, and if I run the program, you see now that... Here we have a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 and now we have successfully swapped the value of these two variables. So now my a is holding 10 and then my b is holding 20 which previously was inside my a variable. And this is a solution for our problem using a third variable. But this question is often asked in another way and that is how you can swap the value of two variables without using a third variable. And now I'm going to explain that. So let me very quickly delete this until here, okay. And 
In order to solve this problem without using third variable, you will have to think in a more mathematical way. And the solution for this is going to be the following. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let's say that my a variable is going to hold whatever my a is holding, and I'm going to add whatever my b is holding also. And this expression here would be really incorrect in any mathematics, but in programming this is, this is a valid expression. And it means this here, whatever this expression results in, I'm going to assign that to my a variable. And this here is whatever my a is holding plus whatever my b is holding. Assign that to a. So that is going to be a, so 20, plus b, 10, that is equal to 30. So now in this line here, my a is going to hold the value of 30. And then in the next line, let's say now my b is going to hold whatever my a is holding and then subtract whatever my b is holding from that. So in this line here, I'm going to say store inside my b the result of this expression here. And this exp expression will result in following a, so 30, minus b, minus 10, that is going to be 30 minus 10, 20. So in this line here, my b is going to hold the value of 20. And then what we are left to do is just to put the correct value inside our a, and that is going to be a equal to a minus b. This means whatever my a is holding at this very moment, and that is 30, minus whatever my b is holding at this very moment, and that is 20. And guys, 30 minus 20 is going to result in 10, and our a is going to get the value of 10 in this line here. So now if I write out, see out, a is equal to a, and let's add end line, and then c out b is equal to b. And if I run my program, you see that I'm going to get the expected result. So my a now is holding whatever my b was holding, so 10, and then my b is holding this value that previously was inside our a variable here. So we have solved this problem in two ways, so with or without a third variable. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and to subscribe to my channel. And also any questions that you have, leave those in the comments down below and share this video with anyone who'd like to learn programming. And I'm going to see you in my next video. And also guys, one question for you. If you have any recipes, any algorithms on how you can make green juice taste and smell good, please make sure to write those in the comments down below. Bye.